This video was sponsored by Lactico. And if you want to reduce the pH of your body so that you feel less lactic acid when you're riding your bike, hit the link down below. There's a discount code. The video was not sponsored by Squirt. And if Squirt is watching and wants to help me with my cycling channel, I would appreciate it because I genuinely like, I like both products. I think they're wonderful. Let's discuss chain wax versus oil, particularly the squirt wax, which I've been using. I just figured it out now for 18,000 miles. And I'm just gonna cut to the chase. I like it much better than the oil. This is what I've been using, the squirt wax. And I've been using it, I ride about 6,000 miles per year. I've been doing it for three years and I like it much better than this stuff. So the question is, Hey, Dr. Story, if you like it so much, then how come you still have this? Well, what I do is I use this stuff on my BMX bikes. And the reason why is because I just don't want to work that hard on my chains on those bikes. And those bikes are pretty solid. I very seldom change those chains. But on my cyclocross bike and my road bike, I'm meticulous with my chain. So I'm going to tell you what I like about it. And there's a big, big problem with the squirt wax. I'm gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna share with you whether I think it's worth using this, this stuff and uh, we'll go from there. So what are the advantages? Number one, I've only had one two or three times in my life, but uh, some people, for some reason, the chain just seems to attract itself to your right calf and you end up with that cat five tattoo where the chain oil is all over your leg. The second great advantage of squirt wax is the chain is clean. So if you're out on the road and you get a flat tire and you have to take your back tire off, you touch the chain, there's nothing on your hands. It's actually wonderful. Now let's talk about the anal retentive reasons why you should use squirt wax. Uh, less wear on your, your chain, less wear on your rear cogs and your chain ring. And I've noticed that I have a chain tool right here. And what I'll do is I will measure my chain length to see if my chains are wearing out. Just me personally, what I will do is I will just buy a new chain every Christmas. It's what Santa Claus brings me. But the truth of the matter is I used to check my chains and they used to wear out. And now Christmas time comes around. I check my chains. There's still life in them, but you know, I just want a new chain. Those are the advantages. Oh, last advantage, and you already know this, is it's gonna add watts for you. But I personally, I don't measure that crap. I'm just an old fuddy dud that just wants to ride bikes for fun and uh, do a cyclocross race once in a while. So am I gonna notice two watts, five watts difference, difference in power? Some people say they do. If I could listen to my body, I would say that the chain does feel smoother than when I use oil. So let's talk about the disadvantage. So the real disadvantage is that you have to really clean your chain the first time you buy it. What that means is when you get that new chain, you gotta get all that factory grease out of that chain. Now, if you wanna start a fight online, just make a video that says you use degreaser to get rid of grease because there is much debate about how to create a clean, grease-free chain. Some people say that you must use gasoline or petrol. I use degreaser. And at the end of this video, I'll leave you two videos that show you, number one, how I get my chain clean. Hint, it's degreaser. The second thing is, how do I keep the chain clean in between rides? So I don't clean the chain with um, gasoline and the reason why is it's just because it's too hard to dispose of so I use a, a biodegradable degreaser it just makes it easy ultimately what it boils down to is using wax is really no different than using oil as far as procedure is concerned you just apply it to the little rollers let it sink in and then usually I will do it about every 150 miles. Now one could debate that it's actually better to use like a the molten speed wax or something where every 100 miles, 150 miles, you take your chain off your bike, put it into a crock pot full of wax and 
that's supposed to be incrementally better in theory than squirt. But when we're talking such small percentage points, I don't feel it's worth it for me to do that. So hey, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Let me know in the comments section, have you used squirt? Do you use just normal chain oil? What have you found to be the best? Let me know. And by the way, cycling in Southern California, does it really get any better than this?